everyone. Today we are going to talk about a concept mapping tool called FreeMind. FreeMind is an open source software widely used in making concept maps. I hope you know what concept maps are. When we map concepts according to their level and relationship, it is called a concept mapping. We have been doing it on papers right from our childhood, but today we are going to use a com application to map the concepts. The objective of this video are that you will be able to install FreeMind software on your systems, make concept maps using FreeMind, insert and format nodes, apply different types of branching style, link two or more nodes on your concept map. The first question which comes is why should we learn it? The users of FreeMind are very apt here, discussing them is very apt here. They are excellent tool for organization, how you organize things, organize according to one level, two level, three levels, the concepts, the ideas, even your personal things, you can organize them and it's a brilliant tool for organizing things. You can also track your projects, where you started, where you are, where you will be reaching, all that tracking can be easily done through FreeMind. Then it is also a excellent tool for keeping notes. You can collect your notes and that will build a knowledge base for you in your computer system. Then for essay writing, we all have been writing essays right from our childhood. When we write an essay, there are a lot of ideas which come into our mind, but by the time we finish it, some of the ideas vanish. So it gives you ample opportunity to put all your ideas in one place, categorize them, build them according to level and then maybe pen down, pen your essay. Even for brainstorming, it's very good that so many ideas are coming. You put them on the uh, free mind software, organize them, categorize them and it helps you to focus on a particular idea. So during all these activities, you are able to have a small database and this database can be retrieved anytime and it is for you, your own personal use or maybe the official use. This is one of the examples which a learner has used for mapping his or her personal learning environment. Say when we learn, then we learn in the university or outside university. When we are learning within university, so what are we doing? We are listening to others, we are speaking to others, we are reading, we are, we are writing. So all those activities and what are we writing? We are writing notes, we are writing assignments, we are writing essays, all that can be. So that kind of if you can see that categorization is very clearly done here and then one is able to know as to what are the activities I am doing in university and not in outside university. So one can map accordingly and plan his or her own life, you are learning according to this. So how do we make, so how do we start, what is free mind, where do I get it? So the first thing we all uh, do is we google it. So if we google free mind, then lot of links will come and then what you can do is you can open the link and then if you will open the link, it will take you a page where all the related information regarding free mind is there. As the page is saying, you can read from here that free mind is an software application which is built using Java language. So it's a Java enabling um, enabled software and you need to have Java in your system to run this. Installation, download, uses, system requirement, all that information you will get on this. So if you go and explore this page, you will see that the system requirement for running a free mind software application is Java runtime environment 1.6 and later. So if you already have that in your system, then well and good. If you do not have it, then there are uh, there are links where you can uh, download the Java as well as the free mind together and then install in your system. One thing, another thing you have to uh, keep in mind is the, the fresh mind you are going to download is as per your operating system. If you are running Windows, download the one which is compatible with Windows. If you are running the, uh, if you have an Apple laptop or an Apple system, then you have to download the free mind according to that or Ubuntu. So uh, you must, you will be able to understand this once you explore this page. So step by step installation will be first, the first step will be install Java runtime environment in your system if you do not have it. If you already have it, do not bother. Then you choose the free mind installation file as per the operating system. Then download the chosen installation file 
and then install and you are free to make concept maps using the FreeMind software. How to create a concept map using FreeMind? So, this is the logo of FreeMind. As you can see, it's butterfly. Butterfly signifies freedom to fly anywhere. So, similarly, FreeMind gives you freedom to make any kind of concept mapping, any kind of idea mapping, mind mapping. So, once you install it, this kind of a logo will come on your desktop. You click on that and you will see that the system is loading FreeMind. And once you click on that, it will take a time. Then a concept map, you are able to make concept map. This figure I am using it because this is a concept map I am using, I have made to be shown in this video. And if you look at the figure, you will see that there are two, uh, a blue color block here and a red color block here. As you know, in the other application like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, this is called the menu bar, this is called the toolbar and some of the functionalities are the same. So, you will not find it to be a very new system to interact with. The skills you have for using Word, Excel, PowerPoint and others, other softwares you can use here also. And on the left hand side if you see there is a green colored block and this is called an icon bar. We will be talking about it later. For today concept mapping, I have used education system in India as a concept. The education system of India is bifurcated into broadly into elementary education, secondary education and tertiary and higher education. So, today we will be talking about this. So, uh, how do we create a concept map? As in other applications like Word and Excel, when you want to open a new file, you go to file and you click on new. So, here also you go on file, click on new and this page will open. This page with the center electrical object in this if you see it is written as new mind map. Th that means, this is the first diagram first uh, circle you have to create any new concept map. But since I am talking about education system in India, so I do not want new mind map to be written here. I want education system of India to be written here. So, what I will do? How do I do it? I have to edit it. So, one, pro, uh, one way to go and edit is to go into the edit in menu bar and then edit it. Edit, then you can edit the node. Once I go on this, click on this, the window will come with a cursor near the new mind map. I type education system in India, it will come like this and if I press OK, then it will come like this. So, that the new, the new mind map I wanted to create has a name called education system in, in India. You can make concept on anything like say transportation. So, then your main then you can type as transport system in India, your yeah, transport system. So, transport system can be through air, through land, through water. So, that kind of categorization you can do that kind of concept and sub concepting you do and then we can see how we do it. So, this is we have got the this is also called as long node this education system in India the first node on your concept map is called as parent node or long node. How to insert more new nodes like education system of India is divided into elementary, secondary and tertiary. So, how do we insert new nodes? If you go you see the menu bar and the toolbar. In the toolbar you can see a bulb kind of a structure this yellow, this yellow bulb kind of a structure. If you click on that, you will see that it is a link to insert a new child node. Child means the next level node. That means, if education system of India is the parent node, then how to insert a child node? We go and click on the bulb. So, now you see the elementary education has come as a child node to education system in India. So, if we enlarge it, education system in India, elementary education is a child node to it. This is the parent node, this is the child node. You have to remember this. So, if we want to have another child node, then we again go there and insert a child node to education system of India. But now, if you see in this diagram, in this picture, you see that secondary education is a child to education system in India, but it is a sibling to elementary education in India. So, what you can do is you can make another node through two ways. One is when you insert a new child node that is also can be achieved by pressing the insert button on your keyboard or you can insert a new sibling node by having your cursor on elementary education and entering enter. 
So, that way you can insert another node say elementary education, secondary education and tertiary education. So, there are two ways you can make your new nodes into your mind map or the concept map. So, a small exercise just to see whether you have seen or not make a concept node with at least one parent and two child nodes. This is the most simple of the concept map you can try at your end and uh, I am sure you will be able to do it. Okay. So, uh, you can try it, you have made it and then how to format these nodes. We do not want these grey colour nodes, we want it to be like butterfly coloured. So, how do we format these nodes? So, in the menu bar you have format as a link, click on that and you have node colour, node background colour. In the node colour if you click and go and change, it will change the colour of the text of the node not the background. So, if you uh, if you want to change the color of the text say from this blue color you want it to be green or uh, red or anything else you go and change the node color, but I want to change the node background color. So, I will click on this. So, the whole uh, number of color the whole spectrum of colors will open. I choose the green color I like green color. So, that green color I want is for the secondary education and see it has changed. So, you can have emptying colors you can mix and match you can see which is looking good which color is not looking good and go and keep on changing it. Then how to format the main node we have uh, formatted the secondary node but child node but not the parent node or the long node. So, how to do it same way that way I told you in the first slides I told you how to go from the menu bar the other way is you go and go on the node right click you have this panel coming drop down menu go and edit the long node. Here the facility of changing the uh, font is also there. I have changed the font from uh, the plain one to a little stylish or italicized one then it is there then it has changed. I can format it also like I did uh, earlier the green color I am formatting it the colors are coming it is a magenta color I wanted to choose. So, it is coming and see the colors have changed. So, you have a green color, you have a yellow color, you have a so you can change according to your own wish, you can change them, then maybe you not you, if you do not like it, you can go and change it again. There is no restriction, there is no problems. So, it is exercise again format parent and one child node at your end. I am sure you will be able to do it, just try it both ways by going through the menu bar and by right clicking also the result will be the same. You can change it anyway, you can format the nodes anyway. Let us go ahead branching style one node is branched to another node. So, how do we have the what kind of branching styles are available on the free mind. So, uh, there are two styles available fork and bubble fork is when the lines are very simple simple straight lines it looks little crude also, but then it is according to preference and according to the context we are using it and the second is bubble how they are done you go to format there are two fork and bubble you can choose them any one of them and then if you click on that similarly through the right uh, by right clicking also you can choose them see when you have got a straight line it is called fork type when you have it in enclosed in a elliptical and a rectangular uh, uh, rectangular um, shape that is called bubble type. So, whichever you prefer you can use it. One thing another I want to tell you is the nodes are called the nodes and the line linking them are called the edges and you can change the edges also their style, their color, their weight say if you do not like this thin lines they are not visible to you or you do not like them it's this thin then you can increase the width also. How to insert icons in nodes as we all know today is the world of icons everywhere we have icons and as we know that a picture says or an icon says more than 1000 words then if we can insert icons in our nodes it will be very useful. So, we have the provision of inserting icons in nodes also in this free mind software. So, how do we do that let us see. On the left hand side if you remember in the first slide I had showed that there are icon bars. So, you have lots of icons available any one you can choose and insert in any of the nodes. So, uh, let us see what are the icons available you have a bulb, you have a question mark, 
you have an exclamation, you have a stop, you have a right, you have a wrong, you have numbering also. You can number the notes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 the way I have done it in uh, in the main concept map I have used for this demonstration. So, one, these, these are the 10 numbers are there and you can create as many as you want. Then you have red light also like if you want to give like stop then you can use this red light, alert, yellow light, go, green light, symbols, directions, amicons, house, mail, then you have communities also. Say you have many people then you can use this icon single boy girl etc all this you can use. So, you can see that there is lot of options available it is up to your idea, your need, your context that you want you can use it. Say I have used it, I have this used it says it is education system in of India, it is for all, it is so, so lot of um, people are there, lot of members are there using this year, everybody is into education system of India. So, what I do is I click on this node and I click on the icon I want to insert here and see this icon is inserted at this point. Then a little exercise, insert icons in the nodes in your concept map. I hope you are able to do it. Then let us insert some images real time images or the images you want to insert into your in your notes. So, how do we do it? Let us try to do it. Insert, you go to insert option in the menu, see image file, choose a link. So, you choose that link, click, then it will ask which image, image in your system. I have an image in my system on my desktop education system. Um, image, I insert it, I open it and open it, then it comes like this. The image will come like this. Of course, you have to take care of the size of the image because if it is too big, the, no, the node will be enlarged and it will not be the whole perspective will be lost. So, you will when you are inserting an image, you will have to take care that the size of the image is correct, it is clear, it is visible and it is appropriate to the node you are using. I cannot use uh, any other um, any other irrelevant image here. So, it has to be relevant and this is how it is and if you see in this um, this concept map I have made there are four levels. This is the main education level uh, in, in education system in India, elementary education, then primary level is another level, then grade 1 to 5 and grade 6 to 8. So, there are four levels. So, we will talk about it. Then how to insert hyperlinks in node that was inserting an image, but how to insert hyperlinks because they are very important because at one place you can link to various other things. You can show many other things to the learners or you can uh, link it for your own use also. So, how do we insert it? Let us see. Again insert, then see hyperlink file, then you hyperlink to a file. Now, see the difference in the first case the image came into the node, the image was embedded into the node and here see what, what is the result? It comes as a arrow that means this node is hyperlinked. This red colored small arrow will sh sh it indicates that this node is hyperlinked and it is hyperlinked to what? It is hyperlinked to an image here. So, you can hyperlink to PDF file, you can hyperlink to say maybe some document on education system in India. So, it is up to you how you are making it, how you are interlink, how you are hyperlinking it. So, um, this is according to your choice, your context, your needs. So, as you can see this again a small arrow here which shows that this particular node is hyperlinked. So, uh, there is other, uh, suppose one thing is there, we want to link two nodes. How do we link that two nodes? These two nodes, secondary education and tertiary education, I want to link them. So, this can be done through add graphical link. So, once you add graphical link, you want to add graphical link, you click on the two nodes you want to link, two or more nodes, because link has to be between two or more nodes. It cannot be in a single node. So, what I will do is I will click on add graphical link, then I will click on the nodes I want to I like here I have done is on the secondary education and tertiary education, I will click and see this is the graphical link. Graphical link between the two nodes, it is a link. 
So that is how you can link two nodes. So maybe if I want to link the secondary and the elementary education, I can again, if I want to link elementary with tertiary, because that will not be possible since nobody can go from elementary education directly to higher education. So that linking we cannot do. But since in higher education, the teacher education go and teaches the elementary education, so that linking we have to do, but that we have to clarify. So this is an add graphical link. Let's have another exercise, a very small exercise. Insert a hyperlink in your parent node. Another thing I want to tell you about is how to insert a cloud. When you see there are many levels we are talking about. So, after a particular concept or a level, we want that to come as a single, uh, single node or a single idea, then we can insert a cloud kind of a feature is available in FreeMind. Let us see how do, how do we do it. This will come like this. In the toolbar, there is a Q kind of a symbol. So, if you press on that, you will get a cloud kind of a figure around the node which you want to insert into the cloud. This is a cloud and we have made a cloud around elementary education. Same way we can do through secondary education, same we can do for um, tertiary education as well. Then how do we hide or unhide a node level? Say, as I have told you that there are four levels of, um, four levels of nodes here. So, if we want to show the learner that these levels are connected, how they are connected. So, in the first level, we only want the first three levels. So, how do we hide and unhide the node level? As I have already told you, we have discussed that this has got four levels, education system in India, elementary education, primary level, upper primary level, grade 1, grade 6 and 8, similarly for secondary education. So, if we want to fold till this level, then what we do is on the toolbar, there are symbols plus and minus which shows that you can fold and unfold one level. So, if I press on this, it will fold to this. You can see this small circle that means there is a level folded here. So, uh, if we again do it then for elementary education. Similarly, we can do it for secondary education. So, we have folded for all levels. So, if we want to tell the uh, learners about education system in India, we will tell about elementary education, secondary education tertiary education. So, now one by one we will talk about it. Elementary education, so elementary education will unfold. Secondary education, we click on this small circle and L secondary education will unfold. So, let me do it. See, the circle will get enlarged and the two levels will pop out. Similarly, if I go and click on this, it will work. This way you can fold and unfold to the level you want to teach. You can unfold all the levels, you can unfold or fold one level according to your need, according to the context and according to the concept map or the level of the learners. Then how do we export this? How do we use it? because we cannot use it just like that. It has to be saved. You all know that word application, excel application or powerpoint, you have to save, save it. So, how do we export it? What are the options available? So, let us see what are the export, uh, export options available. If you go and click on the file, you will see that new will open, open, save. If you simply save, then it will save as a mm file that is mind map file. So, mind map file will be saved and can be opened anytime provided you have a free mind software on your computer system. But it is not always feasible to have a free mind software in all the systems. Suppose you want to use it in, in some other document or you want to give it as a, um, as a pamphlet to your learners or use it somewhere in your PowerPoint, then we, we cannot have a uh, MM file. So, what we have? We have export options also available. So, you can export as an HTML file, you can export it as an image PNG and JPG, you can export as a PDF and other options are also available as a Java applet, as a flash file and as an open office writer document. So, all these options are available and then can be tried as per your need and context. So, uh, it will save like this, it will uh, once I save the file, I have saved the file education system in India and it is coming as as you can see dot mm file dot mind map file and as you all know that opening a mind map file will need fresh mind installed in your system which is not always possible. So, we are going to use the export facility available. 
If you want to save it as PDF, you will say export as PDF, then it will ask you settings. See at the versatility of the tool that it will ask you whether you want it as a landscape, landscape PDF or as a portrait or what is the size, is it A2, A4, what size of paper. If you click on OK, then it will give you an the concept map in a PDF form. See, you can see the symbol and you can see it is a PDF file, a closure version, a still closure version. It is an education system in India, India PDF file. So, you can insert it, you can send it to others, you can insert into your presentations, you can give it as a standalone document, whatever or you can keep it for your own personal use also. Then HTML file as I said, it will come like this, as you know HTML file files will come as a, will uh, come as a browser file, they will be saved as like that. So, it is an HTML file, at dot HTML, that means it is an HTML file, education system in India, MM mind map HTML file. It is coming like this, if you can see in this red, it is a HTML file. So, it will come also like this, the portions will be like this and then there will be link wherever you want to use it. Then help is also available in free mind. Suppose I do not know what to do, how to do it. You have learnt it, but somehow you are using it after a very long time, then you have forgotten how to use it or you want to try something else which was which you had not tried earlier and you are in spite of exploring all the um, links and all, you are not able to do it, then you need a help. So, immediately where do we get help? The help is inbuilt into the software and see in the menu bar you have a you have help you can go and help there is a documentation you get help of most of the features available so it cannot be like you have to depend on somebody else or you have to go to internet and find it no you can find it within the software application so if you see uh, you click on that you see this is how they have also used free mind to map the help available. If you see there is a free mind, this is the free mind software, this is a link to, there is a red arrow, you can see there is a hyperlink to home page of free mind, then table of key mappings, installation modes, installing free mind applet, then creating and deleting nodes, editing node, adding icons, we have done it, copying, pasting, dragging, dropping, everything you can imagine, zooming, scrolling, everything is there, exporting as other XML formats, etcetera, etcetera. So, this is the help, you click on that and can you see this small circle, remember you click on this and it will again pop into more branches and then you have all the options and all the help at your fingertip. Then this is a another quick guide available, the shortcut say add, if you remember add sibling node, enter, add child node, insert, add sibling, memo, uh, uh, sibling before the node shift and enter. So, all these shortcuts are they were uh, given, this also you can use it very effectively, this will help you out in making a concept map, make using free mind for your concept mapping and uh, this, ex this opens a world of concept mapping, mind mapping for you, you can make it digitally using free mind, use it as many times as you want, modify it re-modify it, go back to early, revi early revisions, anything this opens the world for you of concept. Thank you.